Mexican voters made history, but how could it impact the U.S.? William Lajeunesse has more from Los Angeles. Viva Mexico! For the first time in its 200-year history, Mexico elected a woman as president. A former mayor of Mexico City and climate scientist trained at UC Berkeley, Claudia Scheinbaum is the protege of the current president and vowed to continue his policies. Vamos a gobernar. We will govern for everyone, men and women, but we will first take care of the poor. We will be austere and corruption won't come back. But for the U.S., it's about two things, trade and immigration. Officials here will watch closely to see if Mexico reduces its flow of migrants, with a likely member of her cabinet suggesting Mexico needs to do a better job of controlling its southern border. Mexico, um, probably more than any other country, can either undermine or strengthen the U.S.'s border and migration policy. Scheinbaum may also take a harder stance on human trafficking and the drug cartels than her predecessor, whose hugs, not bullets policy pushed homicides near record levels. Scheinbaum has the mandate to do it, getting almost 60 percent of the vote, twice the support of her nearest competitor. I see a Mexico with a lot of pain and violence. I wished her that she can solve the great problems of our people. Scheinbaum also becomes the first Mexican president of Jewish descent. Her grandparents were immigrants from Eastern Europe. In Los Angeles, William Lajeunesse, Fox News.